G'day guys, welcome to Backyard Barbecue and with Berkey. We're literally in the backyard today. We're going to cook up a uh, beef chili on the uh, Z grill today. Something different, give this a bit of a go. So we'll just show you what we're going to do to start with. We've taken our um, rack out, we've taken the drip tray out, we've got the pot sitting on top of the uh, baffle here. Just make sure you use pot and steel handles. And um, anyway, we're just going to drizzle a bit of oil in here. Now, we started up the smoker and we've got it on, we've turned it right up to high. So once you get to your smoker, your smoker started, then you can turn it up to high. Just going to bang a bit more oil in there. And as you can see, I've got some onion in here and the onion's starting to sizzle away, all right? We'll just put that in for a bit of a test to see how hot we're getting. Um, this will get hot enough to do what you need to do. So anyway, we'll... Um, we're just going to throw our onions in. Now I've got some pre-cut up here, some red onion. We're just going to use red onion today because that's what I had in the fridge. So just going to pop that in. As you can, you can see, it's, it's nice and uh, starting to fry up there. Now we fry it up because it releases a bit of the water out of the onion and caramelizes. It makes it a bit sweeter and all that too. So, so that's a really good... Um, thing to do when you're cooking before you start putting all your juices and everything in it. So also now we've got our capsicum, some green capsicum in the fridge too. I'm just going to pop that in there. I've diced it up earlier. Alright, so we'll just put them in there. And we're just going to give these a bit of a fry around for a tick. Um, good idea. Use a wooden spoon when you're doing this too because it doesn't conduct the heat and all that kind of stuff and it also protects your pots from scratches. Um, so as anyway, while that's frying up and around there like so, it's coming up nicely. We will you will lose a little bit of heat from doing this because um, when you've got your lid open, but once we get it gone sorted, we can put the lid back down and all that anyway. Now here we're going to fry up our seasoning. So this is just the seasoning that we've had in the cupboard that's um, got our new one. So we're just going to put a, a bit of that in. Now you can put as, as much seasoning in as you like, really, um, depending on how complex you do, like your, like your um, flavours and things like that. And the same, we're going to use a beef mix today too, but we'll get to that later. And you can season that as well, but we're not going to. So we're just going to let this fry up. And as you can, it's coming up really nicely. It smells really good too. Um, it's, a lot of the juices have been soaked up now from that seasoning and all that too. So, give that a bit, bit more of a go over. And I'll just get some chili garlic here. I'm gonna pop in here. Um, won't put much of this, because that is actually quite hot this one, because uh, the young bloke doesn't like it too hot, so I'm put a little in there, sneak it in there. And we're going to let that fry away, okay? Jeez, it smells really good. Um, and today we're actually using a, we're using a um, mesquite pellet, which is one of our favourites at home. We really like the mesquite, as you can see there. So these pellets, there's no additives in them. What they do is they press down the pieces of wood through a machine and the sap in the wood spot forms them into like a pellet like that as it goes through almost like a big mincer. Um, really good, easy. And anyway, so that's that's fine. Right. It's getting pretty soft there now. So, so what we're going to do now is we've got some beans here that we've pre-rinsed and dra oh, rinsed, drained and rinsed and cleaned. So we're just going to tip those in. That way you can have a bit more of a, a mix around through the ingredients too. So it's looking really well in there now. Anyway, we're going to put our, you can put your favourite pasta sauce, tomato sauce in there and anything. Normally we'd use a homemade one, but it is getting quite to the end of the uh, season and we've actually ran out of our homemade sauces. So um, 
waiting for the tomatoes to come back on this year and make some more. So anyway, we'll pop that in there. Like so. And we'll give that a bit more of a, a mix around. Jeez, this is going to be really good. Now here, we've just got a cake cooling rack, all right? So as you can see, we're going to sit that on top of our pot, all right? And we've got our mince here. Now, once again, depending on how complex you do, like your seasonings and stuff like that, you can season your mince, you can use a burger mince or something like that. We're just using the plain straight beef mince here today. And anyway, we're going to let this sit on top of the rack there, okay? And then it's going to smoke in the smoker while the uh, chili's cooking. And we've got it on the rack, so all the juices and flavours that come through the meat, the mince and the fat, are going to go back into the pot. And that's what's going to make it really nice. So we don't want to lose those flavours. Anyway, you can use your mince, burger mince, or you can even use leftover smoked stuff from like a brisket, if you've got some leftover briskets or ribs or anything like that, you could use the same thing. You just wouldn't have to do that. You could just put it back through the pot and stir it through. Because we're going to smoke it first, so we're going to leave it like that. Anyway, we're going to close the lid on it now. Um, we're going to turn it down to about, I reckon, 121 because we don't want the vegetables in that pot to burn on the bottom all right so and it's going to smoke the meat nicely at that too anyway guys we'll come back to you later with another um bit of it and we'll show you the next stage thank you